Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Another video for you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment. Let's get down to it. I'm going to take a deeper dive into my preparation for the CISP, which helped me pass the exam. All right, the first line item here, the prep course on LinkedIn. I gave it an eight out of 10, it was pretty good. Uh, all the videos, I watched on one and a half times speed because each video varied. I mean, the videos ranged from, I don't know, maybe five minutes to like 10, 15 minutes or so. And I wanted to get through the videos as quickly as possible in order to meet my exam date. The videos cover the material relatively well, but I would not recommend just watching the videos when you watch the videos make sure to go back and review the section of whatever CISP study guide or book that you're using to better reinforce the learning objectives the concepts etc CISP official study guide 8th edition is what I used one of the books I used I read that book from cover to cover and it is very dry. So I had to force myself to read each chapter, you know, X amount of chapters each, during each study session to get through the entire book. But I gave it a 10 out of 10 because it does cover a deep, deep it does a deep dive in each concept and each domain of the CISP. So I highly recommend getting the study guide. I used the eighth edition, eighth edition is probably a more up-to-date edition, but not much change from the eighth edition to the most recent edition when it comes to these exams. I also did the CISP study guide practice test, third edition on Wiley. Wiley has an online test format that I used. So I went through, did the practice exams. I don't think I did all of them, but I did quite a few of them. I did the chapter exams as well, went through all those. As I was going through these practice tests and quizzes, I went back and reviewed each question that I had missed or the questions that I was unsure about. And then I went back and found the section that covered those questions and answers in depth. I read the answers, I read the explanations for the answers. Why is this the correct answers? Why are these other answers not correct? Some of these questions can be lengthy and tricky. And then I watched the Why You Will Pass the CISP by Kelly Handerhan. Pretty good video. It'll help motivate you and give you some more confidence when it comes to the CISP exam. The other book I used was The 11th Hour of CISP by Eric Conrad, 7 out of 10, because it does cover all the domains in the CISP, but it doesn't go into the great amount of depth as the official study guide. I further reinforced my studies with the CISP mind map destination certification on YouTube. It's on YouTube, it's free. Watch, watch that one and a half times speed. All the videos I watched at one and a half times speed so I can get through them in the shortest amount of time. And I even rewatched some videos on concepts or domains I didn't fully understand or is having trouble with. Sunflower CISSP study notes 7 out of 10 because the ones I use were not up to date with the latest exam format and they are notes so they're not really going in, in depth on on the subjects or domains. I use that maybe the last or the week of the exam I use that as like a kind of final last minute study guide and of course self-discipline. Dedicate yourself and schedule time to study. Because in the end, it's up to you to pass this exam. No one else is going to pass it for you. You're going to have to put in the hours. Some of you guys are probably working, you know, 60 plus hours a week. Uh, make sure to find time to get the study time. And how bad do you want to pass this exam? How bad do you want that certification? It all comes down to you, your, yourself. Let's see here. Go back a slide. All right. Exam week. Took the whole week off so I can give me enough time to do some last minute studying in. If you don't know or understand most of the concepts or domains in the last week, you, you might not be in a good position. You may want to delay the exam for a couple of weeks, what have you. 
Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Make sure to take breaks in between study sessions because you don't want to burn yourself out. The studying, like I said, is mentally exhausting. And I was doing on average one to three hours a day of study time. On weekends, I would do a little bit more just so I can make sure I understood the concepts and the domains. Make sure to read the questions, read the answers, and read the questions again when you're taking the exam. Some of these questions are very tricky and wordy. Do the process of elimination. Select one answer and say, hey, why is this one the best choice out of all these out of all these answers here? Remember, human life and safety is always number one. When an incident goes down, let's say there's a fire in the building, and it's there's a question that says, Are you going to activate the fire containment system in the server room or, or are you going to ensure everybody has exited the build the building safely of course it's going to be human life safety is number one think like a manager there's a video on youtube that says that that's think like a manager i believe this is not you're not in the seat of a it technician or security technician in the hands-on keyboard type of position you're the manager all right, you're the security manager, you're the CISO, what have you, and you got to think like a manager. You got to see the overall goal of the organization, the overall view of the organization, what's best for the business, not just for your department or section or team that you're in. And that's all I have for you guys. Once again, please comment, subscribe, like the video, share with others, and good luck on your exam.